Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Silverado this generation here from year 2014 to year 2019. If you need to find where the fuse for the rear sliding power window is located, which fuse you need to check, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. Why well, guys, it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure to stay until the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do, how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, engine lights, uh, fuses, all that stuff guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing these videos absolutely free. Now guys, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so please check check them out and they can save you quite a bit quite a bit of money now or in the future so guys where you can find the fuse for the rear power sliding window now if you need to find a relay we have the video on our channel as well for any of you owning that truck guys you have many hidden fuse boxes all over the place and nine out of ten people do not know about them we will recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location on chevy silverado what you guys need to do today open the passenger door and on the side of the dash you have that cover go ahead and pull it out it's removable behind it you will find a fuse box with a layout like this one for 2014 to 16 model and a layout like this one for 2017 to 19. before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below now guys quick thing if you need to buy fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time guys we're going to put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out that way you do not waste money and time for the rear sliding power window guys now please make sure to stand till the end we want to give you one good advice that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us if you have a 2014 through 16 let's explain about that one first you will need to check guys specifically fuse number 39 we're talking about that fuse right here the relays for the rear power, power sliding window are extremely hidden please check out the video on our channel if you need help with that 2017 through 19 guys okay uh, if you have that option again it will be fuse number 39 for any of you having it it will be right here that's the one that you will guys need to check now guys you have all kind of different fuses and relays in that chevy silverado you have different fuses relays that could be really hard to find especially if you're in the middle of nowhere and uh, one time we needed a replacement one we couldn't get one we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that so what we do now we always get some spare fuses relays keep them in the glove box for a piece of mind guys that way you do not get stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching and see you next time.